I love about Toronto is yo, they try to drag you down, they try to pull you, they try to make you not go somewhere. Mm-hmm. But I like it, Madame Mazelle. If I'm going to Madame Mazelle, I call up Joey. Who's Joey? The guy. No one can tell me what to do because I put in my footsteps. This is gonna be your most watched interview. Miserable, Burrow Sound. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Burrow Sound, recording here live at the UUI Collective. I'm your host of the most, DJ Czar, and our next guest, pissed, miserable aggravated the hardest working rapper in toronto you've definitely seen him you've definitely heard him we got moolah first in the building you know what's popping it's goody i'm chilling i'm chilling yo i appreciate you coming out you know what i'm saying uh i'm actually mad curious about the things you do outside of rap because i don't know if y'all see this brass knuckle you know what I'm saying? You are a part of this alcohol brand, correct? Yes. So how did that even come about? I mean, like when you're as talented as Michael, you know, opportunities come faster than most, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Different mm-hmm. speed of opportunities. Yeah. 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 You know? So what happens when you put in work, when you put in the hours. See, where what other Toronto rappers really have their own alcohol brand though? None. None. I lie. Yeah. I was, I'm always curious because a lot of Toronto rappers struggle to make money off their music, but it seems like you've capitalized. You have Brass Knuckle, you have Hutsey as well. You have a deal with Hutsey. Mm-hmm. How'd that even emerge? Like, again, you can't face me. <laughs> I'm going to emerge. I'm going to emerge to prominence always. A lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. It's just a result of, with me. A result of bare work, yeah. consistency. Yeah, just put in work, hours. No matter if it hurts or no matter if you're up, no matter, just put in your hours. Well, I, That's I, it. I seen a couple interviews you did and you always talk about how the reason you're successful is because you've experienced failure in a sense. You, you've experienced that, that like um, the difficulties of life, right? Yeah. So how did you use that as motivation as opposed to just like complaining and being a victim, which a lot of people are doing these days, you know? Like, again, like people don't chip in properly you know and i mean they wait for that big lump sum of money to come which mm-hmm. is never coming mm-hmm. i mean oh yeah i just gotta wait for a thousand dollars so i can mix this instead of being like okay uh today's monday let me get at least i don't know 25 to 50 dollars out of the way mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. like and you build mm-hmm. you know what i mean for the it's like a mountain yeah, yeah, you know? yeah you're never gonna get there if you're just like that's like me saying oh yeah i want a million dollars yeah and i just i'm gonna walk past the garbage you're not gonna get the million dollars buddy mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah so so you take it day by day as opposed to being like one day i'm gonna have this once i get this you're kind of yeah, like not today it's never i'm gonna doing get this. done mm-hmm. it's never gonna get done if you do it that way if yeah. you do it their way mm-hmm. but ironically when i start doing it my way mm-hmm. it starts working right how much of your success do you owe to your personality and how much of it do you think is your music like what percentage do you feel like you think it's like 50 50 you think it's mostly the music you think it's mostly moolah first as a person like I don't I, I don't even look at it that way. I just look at it as like I have multi gifts. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it, obviously it starts from the music. It has to start from the music because that's how this even started, right? Yeah. To for me to it's just about growing. Mm-hmm. You know I mean adapting to culture mm-hmm. and whatnot. Mm. So yeah, that's how you like flourish off of multi gifts mm-hmm. you know it's a multi-talented thing and that's what all these toronto artists they don't have it's not a multi gift they just yeah. have this one way that like, they can't do it on their own mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah because you're involved in the process like the overall creative execution not just the music like spitting bars like you're involved with the video editing you're involved in the yes. music production you're all in marketing right like i do everything everything i do Mm-hmm. Like I said, the producer, I'm the booking agent, I'm the tour manager, mm-hmm. I'm everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm Michael. <laughs> you, you don't understand, I'm Michael, bro. Nah, you are Michael. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. it's, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. I'm never going to go away, mm-hmm. ever. I'm here forever. They tried to ban you. They couldn't they ban can't you. Can't ban real. me. Can't ban me. Ban who? Where are they, right? Yeah. Where is Rolling Loud right now? 
They didn't come back, right? See word. Would you ever why, perform why, it if they why, offered why, it? Why again? do you think that is? So can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's your podcast. No, no, you can ask me a question for sure. Why do you think Roland Loud never came back to Toronto this year? They're afraid of the backlash. I don't know. That's my theory. I don't know. Okay. Continue. Carry on. <laughs> Why didn't they come back? Do you feel like they're afraid of you? Michael's back, bro. <laughs> this is my land. It's my stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Out of all the different processes of the creative execution, which is your favorite? Is your favorite hopping in the booth? Is your favorite working on a track from scratch, building the beat? Is it the marketing side? Like, which is your favorite part? Performing? My like, favorite part is when it's finished. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it's out and I'm watching it and it's like, okay, you know what I mean? I did that. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite part. Completely. I executed that. Yeah, yeah. I don't get too happy when it's when in the process of right. No, it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. It's still more. So, yeah, I mean, job's not done. Even still right now, job's not done. So where you're still working on bear tracks, bear videos? Like I'm working on everything. And when they all line up to the top, it's going to be something major. It's going to be in a very big way. Mm -hmm. I mean, how does, how does Michael start making music? Like, how did you start like just making tracks? Was that always your, your vision of like, yo, like I'm a sick guy. I can rap. Like, how did you get into music even? Well, it's in my blood, right? I mm -hmm. have a grandpa named Jackie me too. He's a big okay. artist, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's in my blood and just influences around me is what I'm remembering because mm -hmm. I have dementia, right? Like you I have dementia. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of forget. All right. I already forgot the question you just asked. Me. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. that's, that's what's up. So, so that's how you started making music. It was just like in your blood. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got you. It's in my blood Yeah. and people around me. There was lots of people who rapped around me at OGs, you know, who mm -hmm. rapped around me, Payback, Ali, you know, Recipes, Friendship and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. it was always, I always wanted to be the best, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. better, always working on my craft mm -hmm. and things like that. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I just want to be the best. It's in me. I feel it's you. in my blood. I was born to do this, as you can see. A lie. Seeing his destiny. Right? It was written Can't already. You see that, though? I see it, bro. I see, like, when I see you, I'm not joking. I'm like, yo, this guy's living in his purpose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you're kind of like, you know why you're on this earth in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what I tell my girls all the time. You you, you let them know, like, this is God's plan. Like, this is God's plan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where are you going? Yeah. yeah, yeah you're yeah. not going to find nowhere like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the grass you, feels different when it's yours. You know what I mean, you did say that if they rewrote the Bible today, there would be a book of Mula. Like there would, you would be included, like almost like a prophet kind of. Well, I don't want to use that those words. You know, character but, like 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 some you'd be mentioned. Your name would no, be. In I'm there. just trying to say how serious an analogy of how serious I am of a being. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I'm here for a purpose. They try to stop me multiple ways. They couldn't. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like that. Mm -hmm. the, the analogy may be too crazy, too harsh for you guys, but it's okay. That's what this shit is about. Exactly. Get mad. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. It's okay. What you know point? Because there would be, you know what I mean? Mula, like Mula is, yo, trust me, man. Like, trust me. Verse one, miserable. It's different. Yeah, no, I feel that. Yo, I, hmm. I have a real question. Like, how does a regular guy become a guy? Like, how does a guy become a guy? Well, you know what? The, that's a good question. That's a good question, right? That's a good question. So how a regular guy becomes the guy? The guy, yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah. You have to be yourself. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. So you see how today... Like I have no lineup right now. Yeah, you don't. You gotta yeah. portray yourself that way. So when you're the regular guy to yeah. turn into the guy, mm -hmm. you talk to a girl, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, and yeah. that's how you know you're a guy. You don't okay. have no lineup, nothing, whatever. I yeah. don't know. You know, mm -hmm. you can just you know what to do mm -hmm. in that moment mm -hmm. with what you have on, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be Dolce Gabbana. Doesn't have to be none of that. You don't have to have no bust down, no nothing. Hmm. You just be yourself. Okay. And if you can talk to that girl, that baddest girl in the room, okay, you are a form of a guy. You can do it. 
Okay. Mm. So that's like me. So for example, if I come outside with a, I don't know, rip shirt, this is why I'm the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can go up to any girl and they'll like me. Why? Because I'm being myself. And if mm -hmm. they don't like me, at least I know they don't like me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not for the jewelry or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. okay they, they don't like me for that they like me for me so that's mm -hmm. how i know who's who mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah no, i feel that do you think because you're you're in the position you are now say like a girl shows interest do you automatically like question her intentions are you like yo are you just with me because i'm mula first or no like, because know i know guy? she likes me because i'm me yeah, yeah, yeah what do you mean yeah, yeah she likes me because i'm me she's not faking it yeah, or is yeah. she faking it what do you mean she's not faking it like Mm -hmm. I'm a Fair. guy. My yeah. destiny is crazy. She sees it. She mm -hmm. sees like it, over me. Like she sees it around. She me. sees the path. Of like you're gonna be a guy. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. So I say go, go to Drake and them. Go to whoever's house. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm a guy. You're doing yourself a disservice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're yeah. gonna see me. Everyone see me. Certain. Yeah. Everyone. Mm -hmm certain producers that were trying to work with me at the starting, mm -hmm. I would say 50 be beats in a weekend. They got scared. They mm -hmm. thought I was putting them to too much work. They Same. thought like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. he he's telling me what to do. He's telling me put the snare right there and there and there. Yeah. And he's telling me too much what to do. Yeah. But that's before Mula was right here, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You see me, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't see that producer because he he was it was too hard for him. Mm -hmm. Couldn't handle it. You can't handle it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how I know. Yeah, yeah. Fair. Are you born the guy or is that something you become? You become the guy. Okay. So you no know, one know how you born the guy. You can't be born the guy. <laughs> Nigga, go work. You gotta you earn. Work. You your, gotta earn, earn that the struggle. Guy. If yeah. you don't have struggle, then you're nothing. Hmm. You have to feel. It has to hurt to be a billionaire. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the starting, it has to hurt. It has to cut you. Yeah. It has to be like, oh, I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It has to be like, ah, oh, I'm not going to that party because I can't. I gotta work on this. Mm -hmm. It can't be that. Oh, I, I'm not going to Las Vegas because I can't. I gotta work on this. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that's how you become the guy and it becomes, it, 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 everyone throws everything at you. Not everyone understands. So you kind of got to suffer to be the guy in a sense. Nine times out of nine and a half, 9.9%, 9 9.9 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is how it works. Do you feel like the more success you get, the more stress is in your life? And if so, how do you deal with that stress? Because I know you, you're like a workaholic. So do you just like work through the stress? Like, do you have like a go-to meal? I know you probably don't smoke bogeys, but like, what do you do when you're stressed? Like, stress. Well, like, at my academy, you know, Revenge Academy, Revenge academy we yeah. don't believe in stress. Not a thing. Yeah. Not a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. you mean to tell me there's people back home getting blown up all these third world countries there's so much shit going on all da -da -da -da, and you're hurt about what what you're hurt because you're lazy mm. and you don't want to get up mm. and you don't want to put in work you don't want to put in the hours like michael you don't want to put in the three hundred thousand hours like me okay that's yeah. why that's exactly why and everyone has someone to blame. But me, you know what? I blame myself Same for way. everything. Oh, that happened? Okay, I know exactly why that happened. Oh, this happened? I know. I know why that happened. Same word. You don't stress about it. You don't complain. You don't me, cry it about it. It takes me a business day. Takes me a business day, bro, to get back to normal. Same takes word. me a business day. Like, okay, something happened. Depending on what doesn't matter. Because mm -hmm. you know what? I got to go to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll take a day to think. The, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's stress to you, no. but I'll think about it. It's like it. meditation almost. You I'll know? think about it for the whole day in a dark room, in my room, light off, just chilling the whole, whole day, day, just knowing what I want to do. Just contemplating yeah, like, like, okay. one of these. Same this happened. Uh, this is how I'm going to deal with this. 
That's a very you like know? stoic, like yeah, that's like some old school shit. At least I'm gonna be somewhere by the time I'm done stressing about it. Mm-hmm. But like, these guys stress about it and what get fat. Yeah. Let's get skinny. Oh, mm-hmm. let me just not do nothing and help my life, not help my life mm-hmm. because I'm stressing over this girl or I'm stressing over this rent. It's mm-hmm. your fault. Mm-hmm. So you're all about, you're more about action. In that yeah. Sense. Like yeah. talking about it. It's cute. It's yeah. cute. Keep talking, keep going. Nah. That's why I'm here. And other people that are talking my name mm-hmm. are just talking my name. Mm-hmm. And I'm here just working. Yeah. Every time you hear something about Mula, like, oh yeah, you hear about him. You hear about it. But that person that's always telling you is always in the same position. Mm-hmm. But Mula, he keeps going. He keeps getting alcohol. Mm-hmm. He keeps going. Mm-hmm. He keeps getting, di- oh, this is mine too. Woodpecker. Forgot. So sponsored oh, there too. Jeez. $31. And 19 cents per hour, seven days a week, 24 hours, even if I'm asleep. Same word. This is how you do these things. You can't talk. I laugh. I don't give a fuck about what you're saying or anyone saying. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm putting in my work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put in my footsteps. No one can tell me what to do because I put in my footsteps. Mm -hmm. It's my money. Yeah. It's not no labels money or oh this person up no it's mine. Mm-hmm. So how are you gonna t- you can't tell me. Mm-hmm. That's fair, guy. Trust me. Nah, I trust you. This is gonna be your most watched interview. I do agree. I was saying that earlier. I don't even know who you had on it. Yeah, but it's gonna be the most watched interview. I agree, bro. So is it safe to say you don't really like believe in vacations? When you work. When you work, yeah. When you deserve it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's so you feel like up. you still like you have do you feel like you've earned a vacation or you feel like yo, I'm not where I need to be before I take a little like week off? No such thing, all right? <sighs> Listen, man. Everything at my everyone at my academy is suffering. There is no vacations going on right now. Mm-hmm. I don't care what outside looks like to you. I don't care if it's hot outside. Go get tricked. All the people that are dumb, they go outside. Go get tricked by outside the hot weather. Oh, yeah, all these parties. Go spend your money. Mm. Go. Because you know what? It's time when all those people are done partying. I'm that person or one of those people that they ask for money when mm. they're done partying. Mm. So I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to own the club. I'm not going to party. I'm going to own the club. And if you see me partying, it's because... I'm supposed to be there for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm there for a reason. Mm -hmm. You're not wasting time. Why would I waste time? I don't waste time. Time is precious. I'm here. I'm putting in work all day. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Seriousness. Aggravated. (laughs) (laughs) No, but... Uh, I want to switch gears towards the music. I know you say you do production. What, like, what DAW do you use? Are you, like, a pro? uh, I put in more work than VC. Chris Bosch, Damar, and Kyle Lowry. Don't worry. Toronto has me. Same there way. will be no day two or day three. What DAW do I use? It doesn't <laughs> even matter. I'm a <laughs> guy. I can make this shit in my a hospital bed. Doesn't matter. No one's stopping me. Not you, not the producer, not a studio, not an engineer. There's nothing. I can do it myself. I don't need no one to set up the work. I don't need no one to set up the lights. I did it already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I set up the mics. I set up all this shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I don't need that. I'm a one man. As you can see, everyone's trying to face me right now, but they can't. I'm one man. Michael, move the first. One guy everyone's having trouble with. It's crazy. Only I could do this. It's true. If it was someone else, they would have quit already. Mm-hmm. But I love it. That's what I like about Toronto, right? Mm. What I love about Toronto is, yo, they try to drag you down. They try to pull you. Mm. They try to make you not go somewhere. Mm. But I like it. Drag me. It makes me work harder. And you know what? I won't leave this city until I work harder. Mm-hmm. Can't face me, bro. All the people that are talking, talking, yeah, yeah, talk. I don't care. That's why I'm still here. And they're still talking. Mm-hmm. 
with an annual salary of about eight thousand dollars like go i don't care talk all you want you haven't taken a chance like me Mm -hmm. everyone hates on me and i'm the wrong person to hate on Mm -hmm. because you guys don't know what i've been through you guys don't know what i'm doing you guys don't know what i had to do to get here you're mad because i took the fucking hard difficult route when you guys took the easy ass route you're mad at me you know what it took to get that Mm -hmm. why why are you mad at me for what did i do sep try to free you Hmm. miserable (laughs) disturbed final boss last level so last mission last stage before so you don't use fruity loops before okay okay before i'm better than before i'm better than fruity loops logic Uh, i'm better than logic ableton i'm better name it i'm better pro tools better miserable cubase whatever what if it, whatever it is any software i don't give a fuck i am a software yeah microsoft word like all of them like can't face me bro just can't face me okay. michael's back <laughs> you can't face me it's me what the fuck Yo. it's your biggest interview dog it's me the fuck no nah, it is it i'm is. here i'm here in the flesh fair yo what's your favorite i had to get off the boat so i could walk on water talk about it <laughs> why walk on eggshells when you can walk on water all right go ahead oh i was gonna ask what your favorite bpm is i like, don't give a fuck i don't even watch it i don't watch that when you make beats BPM, and shit like you go to like 115 i don't like- give a fuck 299 <laughs> or five i don't watch that five beats i'm a creative me. You think Mozart was watching that? He didn't give a fuck. He just <laughs> what? He just did it. It sounds good. Don't give a fuck. Would you say you're like Mozart of Toronto? I am of? Mozart. Shakespeare, however long you want to bring it back. Bring it back to the oldest person. I'm Michael. Jackson, Jordan, All, Tyson. Everything, anything you can think of. I'm mm-hmm. my own Michael. Mm-hmm. I'm better. Say word. I'm better than before. What do you want your legacy to be? My legacy is legacying right now. <laughs> it's legacy like, is legacying right now. It's like you see I'm it. sorry. I can't watch. I don't check the score. I am the board. I don't watch the fucking score. I am the board. You dropped two vids one week. I dropped four. Jeez. I said I'm better than before. Fuck do you mean? Face shot if you try play D. I only get green on my release. Go ahead, man. Like, yo, listen, I'm I'm living in my moment, B. I'm living in my moment, bro. Fuck you mean? My 15 minutes of fame stretch beyond, right? Die. Oh, Mula, don't drop this. Don't drop this. Mm-hmm. Don't do this. You're dropping too much music. You're dropping too much videos. You're doing this. Final level, B. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Last level. Last boss. Last mission. Last stage. Miserable. Piss. Miserable. Disturbed. High blood pressure. You can't face me, bro. <laughs> Yo, saying you don't need a label, you are the label. I'm a guy. So never sign into a they major? They can't face me i'm not saying never for nothing because mm-hmm. you know what the yeah, only thing i'm saying never to is never done mm. okay i'm never done mm. fuck whatever you're talking about label whatever who gives a fuck mm-hmm. label i am the label i'm a guy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay i put up my own money all these video shoots you're seeing 50 of them from january 4th 2020 okay mm-hmm. to july sixth or seventh can't remember because i have fucking dementia Mm. okay Mm. i put in work do you know what it feels like to have a video and not miss a month every month i dropped at least one video for three and a half years 
Do you not understand that? That's crazy. I'm a guy. Label what? Label wish they could have on me. Have me. Labels wish. Okay? They have their artists. They have to tell their artists what to do. Mm-hmm. They have to tell their artists what to do. Oh, yeah. Post this. You're not posting enough. Mm. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. Your, your idea is not right. You can't talk to me. You can't talk to me like that, bro. Mm. I might shit in order before you even go look at your fucking Instagram. Two, three of them have already been posted. Mm. I already dropped the video. You signed me for five albums. I already had them. Mm. When you sign me for five albums, I have them up front. So I'm free already. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That's what happens with work. That's what happens when you meet Michael. You come to me and you prevail. That's what happens. You will go against me, then you fail. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. Mm-hmm. All the time, it's never going to stop happening. You jump off this boat, it's over for you. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you that. Mm-hmm. It's over. I won't even hear about you again. Do a lot of dementia. Pe- do a lot of people who used to work with you like come running back and being like, yo, well, I see you killing it. Like, yo, let's work again. You're like, nah, like you burned that bridge. Dementia. Dementia. I forgot. I don't even that's, remember what happened. No, nah, that's fair. Dementia, bro. Schizophrenic. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> okay, fair. Yo, we're going to take a quick break. More why? With why? Why? We got to reset why? the cameras and thing. Make sure you put 20. that in. No, we will. Yeah, to, he had to reset the cameras. Michael's back, though. I don't get off the court. He's trying to sub. I don't get off the court. No, though. it's halftime. Halftime. Not even. I'm First out quarter? there. You guys go to the locker room. <laughs> He's staying on the court. Go ahead. Go to the locker room. This is why I'm better. When am I falling off? I don't think never. Go ahead. Take a break, dog. All right. I will be back. Subscribe to Burl Sound and check out some of our merch. Burl Sound. We're back. Mula first. Before we get back into the interview, we have this sick ass art piece right here done by G Art on sale. 1200. You know what I'm saying? We'll put the link in the bio, but adds a lot of color, man. Honestly, a sick piece. It was the lady that um, was over here. She did it. Yeah. So she killed that shit, man. Make sure you check that out. Um, Mula, I know you have bare tracks, hundreds of tracks over the years. Do you think you know all your lyrics? Um, no, dementia, dementia fair. I have some stuff. I just want to see if you can complete the bar, but go ahead. It may be hard. Cause I have 50 videos in the last three years plus songs so. plus unreleased too. Right. All right. Go ahead. Shit changed since I grabbed the mic used to be on the block posted like a traffic light. All right. You're now looking at a general. Throw bullets at me. Trust me. I'll catch a federal. Okay. Okay. You got that one. Okay. This is the next one. I got to work. No time to kick up at resorts. She's only happy when. That's from Forbes. That She's is from only Forbes. only happy when she's she, shopping in Dior. Dior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no need for knock, knock, knock when keys open, open doors. doors. She said that I'm a dog, but she's on all fours. Yes. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Miserable. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait till I see Floyd. I can't wait till I see Floyd. Final boss. I'm self-employed. Yeah. Just a peasant. Lower I, I call your... people peasants all the time. Okay, okay. Next one. Where you been, Mula? We needed this sooner. Where you been, Mula? We needed this sooner. Not be the meter. I'll come with the ruler. Ugh. Not be the meter. I'll come with the ruler. Don't got to pay for a shooter. Your baby daddy's a loser. Can't even pay for an Uber. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that one was deep still. Um, okay, I have a few more questions. Some of them are written down. Some of them... Take it, take your time, top, bro. You know take your saying? time, bro. It's fuck, B. Um, okay, I know you do talk about... A lot of people ask you like about Drake. I'm not going to ask you about that because like every interview asks the same question. But 
did people start treating you differently when you got that acknowledgement from Drizzy? Like, are you just all of a sudden getting bare DMs or was it like regular, like you're still the guy? Let's get this clear. I'm not one of these artists that Drizzy put on. Hmm. Let's kill that. No, I, I said acknowledge because, yeah, yeah, yo, it's yeah, a different thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm not one of those artists mm. that Drizzy acknowledged. Okay? Yeah. yeah. I worked for that. Mm-hmm. Groundwork. It wasn't a handout. It was type. not a handout. Mm-hmm. So when anyone, I didn't even notice. Say what? I didn't notice. I'm sorry. I didn't fucking notice. I did not notice. I just work. How much videos after that? 11 mm-hmm. or 12? Mm-hmm. Where did it see that I noticed? I, I don't know. Say so we're back to work. I back just to know the usual. that the biggest artist in the world said face who. That's fine. That's all I need. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It's light. I don't need nothing. A mic. As you can see, so I'm here, right? No, nah, it is. Did people start treating me different? I don't fuck. I didn't notice. Too busy working. On my legendary fucking career. Mm. Hold on. Five seconds. Let it breathe. Moment of silence. Five seconds. We back. Um, yo, I have rapid fire questions. You got to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. You can say pass if My you don't want to My brain works like a computer. Exactly. All right. Do you believe in God or a higher power? Yes. If you had one last meal, what would it be? Crap. Favorite artist besides yourself? Mula first. If you weren't an artist, what would you be doing? I'd be dead. Sweet food or salty food? Salty. Introverted or extroverted? None. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I hate animals. If Mula first could have one superpower, it'd be? Me. Do you have any tattoos? No. Best uh, bottled water brand? Um, PH 9.5. I don't remember the brand, but it's a very expensive water from Whole Foods. Does sound expensive. Blunts or papes? Papes. Mac or Windows? Mac. Your favorite NBA player? Michael Jordan. Favorite sub? Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade? Both of them. Shout out Dwayne Wade. Favorite subject in school? Jim. Uh, if you had to learn another language, what language would you learn? Pissed. <laughs> Miserable. You understand that? That's, yeah, that's a different language. You got your, you got your own language. Disturbed. I could walk around and just do that all day. You could. Oh, what are you saying, Mola? Cheesed. <laughs> Don't ask me no more questions. That's fine. One word Jeez. responses. Yeah. Dream city to perform in. Um, Bucharest. Bucharest? Mm-hmm. Why Bucharest? Uh, I see Michael Jackson perform out there. It was lit. See where? What's your One favorite time. MJ? What's your favorite MJ track? It was on YouTube when I was watching it though. Oh, I okay. seen it was lit. Yeah. What's your favorite Michael Jackson track? If you had to pick? Um, Mine's Billy Jean. Thriller. Still. Thriller. Thriller. Her legendary. leaving me is like her leaving Thriller. Jeez. Mike. What what do you think happens when you die? I could just die and just live again. I'm just so different. I could just die and just live again. So like rebirth? Miserable. Go listen. I'm telling you, I'm talking to you through the record. I'm Say- saying, hey, I'm just so different. I can just die and just live again. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you? You believe if, us? I, if I ask you, like, what oh. does that mean? If you heard someone say that, uh, what does that mean to you? I believe like, yo, that? this guy lived multiple lives. Like he's going to come back like rebirth, like in another form, but like same spirit. Yeah. That's why I'm special. Saying you've been here before. I'm out here, bro. I'm here now. Do you believe in I'm past lives? Leaving. Like, what do you think your past life was like? Or this is the first one. I forgot. I just put in work. Dementia. Die. Come back. Put in work. Die, come back, put in work. <laughs> that, that's the cycle of Die, that. Die, come back, put in work. 
Okay. Why do you think I should sign up for Hutsy? Die, come back, put in work. Yeah. Why do you think you should sign up for Hutsy? Because you just fucking should, bro. Just do it. So you build credit with the debit card? Just I don't get it. Just fucking do it. Just do it. Do you have a promo it's, code I could put? Uh, fuck the promo code. Okay. That's the problem. Everyone's always looking for these fucking promo codes. All these these avenues. Coupons. Nigga. Take the straight avenue. Take the straight avenue. Don't don't take the shortcut. The shortcut doesn't get you there. Sorry, you're gonna have to take the long cut. You're gonna have to take the long cut. You're just gonna have to sign up. Why is everyone not signing up? Are you lazy? You're scared to to go on internet browser on your phone and type in hutsy.ca and read about read about it? Why? But if someone, if if a girl asks you to pick them up from somewhere, you, you're on it. Sure. If a girl message you a proper, pretty, nice girl, ten out of ten girl, you're on it. Priorities. You if she asks you check. to go to dinner, you're on it. You know about that menu over there. What's up? Mm -hmm. That's why you're on it. But you don't know about you don't know about putting it in work, so you're not on it. That's why you don't know. That's why you don't know how to set up a business because you're not on it. Mm -hmm. But you know how to take out the girl. You know how to spend blood clot money. You know how to spend money, but you don't know how to make moves. Do certain things. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, it's true. Do you feel like for entrepreneurs, like, like we shouldn't have we shouldn't focus on girls until we're up or do you feel like sometimes it's good to have a a shorty that's with you from when you're like down and out and like on the come up or do you feel like yo girls are distraction like well it goes, or like bigger it, purposes? Well, it goes two ways we're not gonna count the the good girls out that actually have a purpose to this mission mm -hmm. you know like they have to understand the mission though they have to know whether they're coming off the bench tonight and playing their role and their position mm -hmm. or it could go the other way go, fuck bitches mm -hmm. fuck bitches because they don't want to fucking i don't know work as hard as us but mm -hmm. then try to be equal to us mm -hmm. and equal them have an equal amount of stuff like mm -hmm. you got to choose mm -hmm. if me if we're equal okay if she's she talking about if we're she talking about we're equal then mm -hmm. the bill's on you today yeah they don't like that though. They, the, the bill's on you today those are the moments they're not equal you know the bill's on you today yeah we're equal you want to talk to me like we're me and you are size we're equal then yeah that's all that's you're paying right. for this bill today mm -hmm. or you're paying for your meal I don't give a fuck but you know what when you come to revenge you have to have some sort of satisfaction right you have to have some sort of obedience when you come to revenge. Mm. You can't just be like, it, shit goes different around here. Mm. Shit goes different. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's why I love whoever I'm with. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just goes different. So mm. she, she understands or may understand that when we go somewhere, um, you may have to pump the gas today. Jeez. Because it's um um I'm the hardest hottest artist in Canada. Mm -hmm. You gotta pump the gas today, baby. You earned that in a sense. I'm a guy. No, you are a guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they'll jump out with no shame, with everyone looking at them, with a guy in the front seat of the driving wheel, mm -hmm. and be like, "Hey, why does he have this girl pumping the gas?" And we both don't give a fuck mm -hmm. because we know the mission. We don't give a fuck. So, yeah, that's yeah. when a girl makes sense. Mm -hmm. But when a girl doesn't make sense now, no, I'm not going to pump the guy. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm there. I'm that. You're not giving me this. You're not giving me that. Well, obviously, fuck them. Mm -hmm. A lot of these guys are slow. Mm. Bringing out girls, mademoiselle. Oh, mademoiselle, let me take them out. Oh, yeah, not getting nothing. Mm. 
Oh, you felt nice. You spent money to have sex. Not Michael. Michael doesn't do that. Michael right? runs the show. I don't bring Madame Mazelle. Madame Mazelle. If I'm going to Madame Mazelle, I call up Joey. Who's Joey? The guy. Okay. I know the owners hmm. of spots. Don't play with me. I don't just take you out to Madame Moselle for a free and I don't know nobody. Hmm. Securities act up outside. I still get it to go inside with my drink from another club. Okay? Hmm. I don't just bring girls out there. These niggas are bringing girls out standing in line at Madame Moselle. Oh, we're going in. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't know no one. They're just spending <laughs> off their money. You don't know anybody. It's cute. It's cute. Mm -hmm. So you're plugged in, is what you're saying. Uh, I'm the guy. Don't fucking play games with me, bro. Yo, how do you react to being recognized in public? Like, when fans approach you, do you not like that? Or are you, like, you, you rate it? Like, how, how do you feel about it? I will be five hours late to a meeting if my fans are all outside day after day. That's real. Uh, they're the reason, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, the fans are more important than my family. Jeez. That's deep. Because you know what? When everyone's against me, when everyone's down and out, everyone, whoever kicks me out of their house, whatever it is, there's always a fan there like, hey, Mula, you made my life. Mm. I look up to you, Mula. Say Yo, word. ever since I started talk, listening to you, Mula, oh, my credit score went up, Mula. Mm -hmm. Every started everything, to, I, I started learning to be, be a guy. My life was better, Mula. Damn. That's what I do it for. So that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever, when you're down and out, that's what's there. To make you know again, okay, let me continue. Mm. Maybe that might be the legacy, right? How many lives you've changed through your art, through who you are. Like you're making, in a sense, you're you're helping men become better men by giving them like a and strong message. Help be, and helping women become better women Jeez. too. Jeez. Because when I come out and say, you can't face me. A lot of these girls are insecure. You don't, th you don't think they, they like how I act. Mm. A lot of these girls are insecure. But I make them feel like, yeah, give them the moolah energy today. Yeah, you can't face me. They got up saying, you can't face me. Mm -hmm. I'm better than before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are the people. They're like, yeah, Mula, keep going. I don't care. I love him. Say a word. Well, their niggas hating. Oh, yeah, don't play him. <laughs> don't play oh, him. Oh, yeah, I hate that guy. <laughs> oh, da -da -da. They get cheese when they bump your yeah, music a lot. I have a bank. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm sorry that I'm helping society. And your nigga's not. I'm sorry he's broke. He doesn't even have a credit card or nothing. He just has, oh, yeah, oh, I sell drugs. I sell drugs and smoke weed. Oh, yeah. I have $90,000. Oh, yeah. That's so much fucking money. Hmm. That's what these girls run to. Oh, yeah, these dumb ones with no brains that have nothing going on for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He's driving this. Oh, oh, oh. Meanwhile, he's struggling at home. Perception. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Have your priorities straight. Have the fucking priorities straight. Mm -hmm. That nigga has a... Don't hate on anyone either because that nigga has a Gucci belt on because he probably didn't pay his rent this month. Okay? Don't hate on him. Why is he, why you hate on him? He probably did not pay his rent this month or his car payments. That's why he has the belt. But I feel good when I pay my stuff mm -hmm. and I don't owe anybody and I feel good. Maybe I can't go out to that club tonight and buy 80 ace of spades, mm -hmm. but my stuff is paid. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Priorities. Say word. I feel mad, like fired up, bro. Like, I can't lie. Like, 
you're you're a good speaker, bro. I feel like my life's gonna change after this interview in a sense. Isn't that just what I say? You come around me, you catch contact. I can, I can, I can do, uh, I can do whatever. People come around me, meet billionaires and just go and I let them have their way with the billionaire. Oh yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. Go be friends. I'm a guy. I can do anything I want. I can do anything I want. I can live zero dollars on this earth. Zero bucks for the rest of my life forever. Zero dollars. If I don't make a cent again, you can still live. Good. I can live wherever I do whatever I want still. How? Don't ask. You have to ask the right question. Mm. That's what it's up. That's how you get up. <laughs> the right question. That's how you get up in life. They ask the wrong questions. Mm. They see me pull up in a fucking Maybach or whoever pull up in a fucking Maybach and they say, hey, they hate on him. Instead of, oh, how did he get that? I can, I can get this too. Mm. Mm. I can, I can do this too. I, I, how did you do this? Yeah. Maybe I should follow the same route. Mm -hmm. But when you try to put them on the route, oh, it gets tiring. Mm -hmm. I'm tired now all of a sudden, right? That's why you don't have these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't get these things. That's why you can't acquire these things. Because you don't put in enough work. Mm -hmm. That's why. I've been in car accidents. Okay? Mm -hmm. Fresh. Fresh out of the hospital. Car accidents. Fucking fucked up. Shooting my next video. And you guys didn't even know. That's how much work I put in. My auntie's like, oh, why don't you go home and rest? Did it die? Did it die? Why don't you go home and rest? I say, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go home and rest. Yeah, don't worry, auntie, I'm gonna go home and rest. You know, as soon as I left her site, I went to work. I went to work. Fuck rest. What the fuck is she talking about? Auntie Marcia. What is she talking about? Well, go rest. Oh, yeah, you get concussion. Da -da -da -da. You should rest. Make sure you don't go. Da -da -da -da. Fuck that. What the fuck you talking about? Mm. What are you speaking about? Don't go. Where? Me? Stop for who? You? No. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. Michael's back. The fuck? Then you guys seen the fucking video the next day because I went and fucking edited it with crutches. Can't face me and put some of the fucking wheelchair scenes in it. No pressure. Can't face me. That's why they can't face me too. Not just because of music, because I put in work. Hurt. Ah, uh, deathbed. Ah, uh, still putting in work. Can't face me. Mm. What uh? What inspires your work ethic? Because I feel like you have the craziest work ethic, at least out of all the guests I've ever met. What inspires me? You want to know what inspires me? You want to know what fucking inspires me? Is the people doubting me. Hmm. That's what inspires me. See, where I love it. Why? I love it. Because I know that I'm doing a great job and they're just hating that I'm doing a great job mm. and they can't oh, I stand it. They can't face it. They can't face it. It's like, oh, yeah. he just did something good for people and I hate him though. So fuck him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, I have two more questions. All right. One of them is, is related to Revenge Academy, which is like, what made you start it? How did you start that? And is that like a label kind of thing? Like a movement? Like Revenge, Revenge Academy is a lifestyle that pertains to people who have been left out. People who just have lots of complications with their life, right? People don't understand them. You know what I mean? So I mm -hmm. bring them in and 
I learn them and I understand what people don't understand. Mm -hmm. And then I make them who they are, depending on what you do. Cause you got to show me, I'll give you credit. Ask. Mm -hmm. I'll give you credit, but you got to show me why you deserve credit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what coming to Revenge Academy is about. It's about doing things the right way. And not everyone else's right way. Mm -hmm. Your right way. Mm -hmm. Okay? The rules we have set up here are right way. Okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mutants. Mutants. Basically. Jeez. Yeah. You know? That's sick, though. You're kind of like you're helping build people up to be the best version of themselves. Yeah. Because they've been left out. They've been kicked out. They've been this. They've been ousted out. They've been shelter. They've been this. They've been that. Right? Mm -hmm. People don't want to take them serious. Mm -hmm. But over here, we operate off of problematic vibes because people who are problematic. I can't have the, the goody two shoes. People are goody two shoes. People. Mm -hmm. We need damaged people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they've been through it. You're not going to judge me because mm -hmm. exactly. you've been through your own stuff too. Mm -hmm. So that's just how we operate over here. I read that. Uh, my last question before we wrap up, I know I forgot which interview you did, but you said typically when you meet someone within the first, you said the first two sentences, you can almost foresee their life. Not like necessarily like literally, yeah, but like, like you, you can see where they're going. You know like what I'm you. saying? Yeah. So my yeah, question like is, where you, do you, I, I understand you're trying to, you're trying to go. Yeah. You're trying to like, what's some advice? Get the yeah, next, next big thing going. Hopefully bro. You know that's the I plan. Mean? Dog. My advice to you is when you feel like there's, when you feel like you've just completed something, complete something else right away mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. wait don't celebrate don't yeah. celebrate or wait don't fucking oh yeah we did this today yeah no 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 keep it going mm -hmm. understand that you can fall off and there's 500 different podcasts doing the same yeah trying to do the same, the same thing. shit yeah so when you feel like you've completed your work there's always more work to do mm -hmm. and if you don't do it then there's it's going to be excuses like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, oh, I need the thousand dollars to mix this record. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. When are you going to get that? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you got to do something about it. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit. Well, There's always more work to do. After this, you can go fucking chop up all the podcasts you've done ever mm -hmm. and fucking put them all up in a one slideshow. Mm -hmm. There's always something to do, sir. 100%. Yes, sir. I feel that, bro. I'm fired you know up, bro. Man? I'm glad this you're shit fired got up. got me motivated, bro. That's some like Andrew Tate type shit. Like, this is the type of shit like they could really change people's lives, bro. Yeah, Revenge Academy. Let's go. Miserable. Bro, I appreciate you coming through. Moolah first. You know what I'm saying? Burl Sound. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Check out Moolah first. I'm don't sure check me out. Don't, don't check, check out. me out. I don't give a fuck. You're going to see matter. it I'm anyways. I'm going to do what I do anyways. Don't put my fucking thing at the bottom here or wherever. At name. I don't give a flying fuck. Uh, I am me. All my fans who love me, keep going. Do not feel left out. And if you do work harder, it doesn't matter. Ah, ah, ah my heart hurts. It doesn't matter. Oh, 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 she left me. Who gives a fuck? It doesn't matter. Okay. Don't wait for her. Keep going. Why would you wait? Right? True. At least the, I don't know, 50 pushups. Listen. You better listen to me because I've done it. Mm -hmm. I can't teach you how to get big. I'm skinnier. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I can't teach you that. But I can teach you what I've been through and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I did this shit before. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I lived already, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Miserable. Burrow Sound. Fucking end it here. Subscribe to Burrow Sound. And check out some of our merch.